everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. Hey, don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Wow, it's a beautiful morning. Now we gotta go pick up Daddy Cornstar. By the way, if you're wondering where you can get sunglasses like these, if you go to the link in the description and you use the code that is also in the description, you can get 10% off. We're here. Dad. Hey, Dad. I guess we'll go wait in the car. Man, it's a nice day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, guys. Hope everybody's day is going great. It's a beautiful day out here. A little brisk. All right, chauffeur. Drive me to where we need to go. You guys are gonna get the vlog experience from Daddy Cornstar. Well, we're heading down to get signed up for the new program. We don't know if there's a program yet or not, but you just gotta be signed up and ready. See how things go on that program for the farm. We gotta stop at the mailbox and mail some mail. Ooh, here's our mailbox. Oh man, go. Ah, ah. I need to get a bigger mailbox. The reason why I'm driving is because if Dad was driving, he'd be farming while he drives and it would take us 50 minutes to to do a 20 minute drive. That's what mom always says too. Then when we want to enjoy the ride, I drive. Hey, I got the proof of insurance too for the vehicle here. We made it to our destination. So now we're gonna go in and start getting signed up for the farm program. You ready to go in, Cole? I suppose. Signing your life away right now. Is that right on acres? I need you to sign and put your title. the light ah jeez and just like that we're back in the office dad and i have another meeting later on this afternoon but in the meantime i'm going to be working in the office and dad is going to be tinking around with some stuff in the shop so i guess we'll be back in a little while i've been working on computer stuff for the last four hours and i kind of forgot to eat breakfast this morning and i forgot to eat lunch and get a little hungry and i have a meeting in about 10 minutes so i don't have time to make food so we're gonna heat up some green beans and finish off the last two spoonfuls of rice and beans. Mm -mm. It's like 45 degrees out right now. We got the sun shining nice and bright. Feels good to be outside after being stuck in my office all day. Taking another trip in the minivan. Aw, oh, come on, Dad. You got mud all over the floor. We're here. Cool. You know, instead of filming all the time, you could help unload that. Look at that sunset. Just look at it. Look at it. Lately, a lot of people have been asking about the windmills and how that works. In a nutshell, it works like this. These three windmills plus one more that you can't see are on our ground. They lease the ground that they're on from us. And then we get a royalty based off how much electricity they produce. So yes, we do get paid for having the windmills. Oh yeah, I should mention, the meeting went really well. And another, oh yeah, I should mention, the metal mountain from the basement is still out here. <sighs> that meeting went really well. We talked about a lot of stuff. We might might possibly have some exciting new things coming to the channel. We'll see. I need to eat. All I've eaten today is a bag of green beans, two bananas, and some almonds. Oh yeah, I had a pear too. We're gonna toss some food in the old 1970s oven, which that means you guys know what time it is. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Cooking! Cooking with cooking with coal. Not really sure how I feel about that intro. Cooking with coal. Better turn the oven on. 399 degrees. Now we need to decide what we want. I've literally had rice and beans for basically every meal this past year. Let's change it up a little. Chicken. Gonna need more. Pro tip from a corn star, you always get chicken thighs. They're much juicier and they taste a lot better. Mm. This'll work. It's getting serious now. Perfect. Don't forget, put this back in the freezer when you're done with it. Perfect. Remember, when you're using raw chicken, wash your hands when you're done with it so that way you don't contaminate everything else with a bunch of salmonella juice. How is the most important part? It's extremely important that when you're using chicken thighs, you fill the container as full as possible because these bad boys will shrink down because they have a higher fat content than chicken breast. So keep that in mind. Now we need to apply the goods. Season generously. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of steak seasoning. And last but not least, uh, 
garlic salt. Yes, I did just season frozen chicken. Works. Ha ha ha. Be at our guest, the be at our guest. 45 minutes at 399 degrees. It comes out perfect every time. Trust me, what else uh, should we make? Let's see, we should put away our spices and uh, clean our dishes from lunch. Up you go. There you go. Atta boy, Pepper. Good job, steak seasoning. Should probably empty the dish strainer first. Oh, guys, I got something I need to put in the trophy case. Soapbox Derby 2005 winner. That's right, your boy's a champ. <laughs> Time to make, you guessed it, rice! Today, we're using jasmine rice, white rice, brown rice, regular rice, rice rice, whatever kind of rice you want, you can put in it doesn't really matter. Just keep in mind, brown rice takes way longer to cook. Personally speaking, I think it has a little more flavor though. Two parts water to one rice. Let that boil, then put in your rice. Be sure to do these over the countertop so that way you don't get it all over the floor. When you go to get a drink of water in the middle of the night, it's real uncomfortable when you step on a piece of rice. It's time. One down, three to go. Turn the heat down slightly. We don't want this to boil over because that's a mess. And yes, I forgot to salt the water. Like the ocean. If you struggle with stuff boiling over, take a wooden spoon and set it in here at an angle. That helps. This rice is gonna take about 12 minutes and 41 seconds. How's the chicken doing? Smells good. Rice is looking good. When it comes to rice, we are not just limited to plain rice and beans. Sometimes I like to put peas in my rice and sometimes I like to put corn in there. Sometimes I do both. This will be ready when all the water has disappeared. You wanna leave about that much water in the bottom otherwise it can get a little crispy on the rice you're not gonna be happy if you burn your rice trust me I've done it before many times burnt rice tastes terrible 10 out of 10 would not recommend keep an eye on your rice got it good ah oh, man guys I forgot to show me dumping in the first can of beans rookie move there we go put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up by the way for every two cups of rice you put in you put in one can of beans check on the chicken oh looking good remember throw your trash away or in this case your recyclables i'm getting a little tired of just eating plain chicken with rice and beans so we're gonna toss in some avocado so that way we can make guacamole because if there's no avocado it's an avocado no for me guacamole guacamole it's my favorite part Get out of here. You know what's gonna help? Salsa, hot salsa. I found this onion that's growing tentacles, so we're gonna toss some onion in there too. It makes like a nice little handle. Ah, wet hands. Jeez, that's on there tight. Got it, only made a small mess. It's done! Bone apple teeth. I can't really believe I'm saying this right now, but we're done working on equipment. Well, kind of. We're waiting for Ryan, our combine mechanic, to come down and work on the combine with us. We're waiting on our haggy mechanic to come down and work on the sprayer with us. And we're waiting for Pete to come down and work on the planner with us. So we're done with all the equipment work that we can do. I don't even have words for how excited I am about this. This is the first time in my life that we have actually been ahead of schedule. Not only are we ahead of schedule, we are two months ahead of schedule. This is awesome. But at the same time, it's weird because I don't know what to do. This past week, I've been spending a lot of time in my office working on different video ideas. It's working about perfect right now. I'm finishing up on inside work. The snow is melting outside. It's just about 50 degrees out, pretty muddy on top. So by the time I get done with this stuff, the mud should be dried up. I should be able to go drive out in the fields.
I still can't believe we're that far ahead. It's a good feeling. Okay, I guess we'll call this the end of the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you for watching.